Okay, amigos, I'm going to do something a little different today. going to talk about how to build a defender deck. Defender deck. When uh, you're drafting, cards to look out for, cards that go good with it. So first, uh, I'm going to talk about that, and then I'm going to show you a deck that I drafted that went 7-0, and I'm going to show you the last two games, game 6 and game 7. It's not really going to be an outro, so basically it's just going to be a how-to guide on drafting Defender. Anyway, first, uh, unless you have bomb green cards, you know, you got a bunch of green rares, whatever it is, this is the only Defender card in green, so I've eliminated that from what we're trying to do here. This pile right here is our defender pile. Um, they all have value. The clockwork drawbridge, nice. You can tap down cards. Uh, this is going to go in a separate pile, separate pile, separate pile, and oh, not that one, this one. All right, so now we get the academy wall. Great with instants. You're able to a 0-5 defender when you cast an instant or sorcery spell you may draw a card if you do discard a card it only triggers once each turn uh, gibbering barricade defender sacrifice a creature gain a life draw a card so maybe you have to block something and you want to gain value out of it it's good and shield ball sentinel goes and tutors up a defender card to your hand so that's a really good one too uh, these four are our defender with win conditions. This one is Wingmate Chaplain, probably the best one. You need to have at least two of these in uh, your deck, preferably three or four, in order to play the defender deck and win uh, solely on defender. Anyway, Wingmate Ch Chaplain, uh, defender, zero, 03 for four mana. When it enters the battlefield, create a 1-1 one, one bird token with flying for each creature with defender you control. Then, whenever another creature with defender enters the battlefield under your control, create a 1-1 one, one white bird. It's not unusual to put out five or six birds at a time. People don't have that much removal, and they especially don't want to spend it on zero threes and one threes and two fours. All right, the next win condition one, blight pile, one in a, a swamp, three three defender, nice. Two in a black, tap it. Each opponent loses X life, where X is the number of creatures with defender you control. This is the uh, biggest biggest front side, the biggest attack on any of these. We get Coral Colony. It's a 1-4 uh, defender for one in a blue. Tap one in a blue and the wall. Target player mills X cards, where X is the number of creatures you control with defender. And then you got Walking Bulwark. Uh, it's Defender 03 for one colorless. Pay two colorless until end of turn. Target creature with Defender against Haste can attack as though it didn't have Defender and assigns combat damage equal to its toughness rather than its power. Activate only as a sorcery. So you can attack with walls. That's, that's your other one. So remember, you need at least... You, you could use two, but you really need three or four unless you have a lot of protection. A couple of pump... Uh, Abilities in this format that I like here you can just skip to turn two and three and you can buff up your walls or you can have your walls just sitting there blocking while your uh, birds are attacking so got that and vanquisher's axe goes nice on any of these making them making a lot less of their creatures able to attack you um, this one's pretty good because, like I said, you usually have a lot of them out there, so this thing's pretty cheap. This isn't bad. It has evasion. Same here. This combo's really nice with the Wing Mantle Chaplain. If you can get both of these going, you play this on one turn when this doesn't have summoning sickness, and you can add, like, six power to it. It's nice. Some of these are pretty medium, but, you know, if you see them, they're, they're okay. This can make... Uh, your creature is bigger even on their turn and if you have a lot of instants you can tap two of them two of your walls and draw a card which is nice this is uh, this is probably one of the better ones because you can get one of them out of the graveyard 
and this is a nice uh, deterrent from the opponent attacking, or you can attack their Planeswalker if they happen to draft it one. Next, we got the card advantage pile. Jodas Codex, low rated on the uh, MTGA assistant, but everyone who plays it against me does pretty well. You get out, you can, basically everyone who plays this at worst is paying two mana to tap and draw a card. You can do it every turn, it's nice. You get way ahead. This thing's nice. Probably you're looking at the top three of your library and drawing uh, two of them at instant speed. This one's not bad. You can sacrifice a wall, return it, or any creature. But um, Opponent discards a card, then you get the creature back, and then target opponent may sacrifice non-land, non-token permanent. If they don't, lose two life, and they draw a card. They lose two life. So card advantage there. I like this spell. You can either draw two for three. I know it's a sorcery, but if you pay five, they discard a card, so it's a three for one. Impulse, it's nice. It's an instant. Look at the top four. Pick one. And this is nice. If they have a lot of removal, your creatures are dying, you can bring two creatures back, or a creature and another permanent. Oops, sorry. Ex uh, good removal to look for when you're drafting. Extinguish the light. Destroy a creature. Uh, instant speed, cost four, but it has upside, you can gain three life. Um, Prayer of Binding, another nice flash one for four, exiles anything, but it can be destroyed. Citizen's Arrest, it's great, gets rid of a planeswalker or a creature. Tribute to Urborg, uh, you know, if you have more instants in your graveyard, you can kill bigger things. If not, then, you know, minus two, minus two kills a lot of things. This is great. Sometimes you need to kill like their Leyline Binding if they drafted it. I've had that happen a couple times where they threw that down. I had this once against that. Good for little creatures. Cut down. That's most of the removal there. I'm going to move these over just so there's more. Okay, there we go. Um, as far as protection for your, you know, Wing Mantle Chaplain or any of the Wind Cons that I w talked about, Get this right here. It's not really protection, but it brings it back to the battlefield. Uh, and you can also gain or lose life. The counter spell, you know, that helps pilfer. You can look in their hand, take something out. Take up the shield. It gains indestructible and life link. Plus one, plus one. So you can gain some life there. Nice. And shore up. Plus one, plus one and hexproof until in return untap it. So yeah, that's uh, these are the cards to look out for when uh, building the deck. And now on to the gameplay. And yeah, when I say building the deck, I mean drafting the deck. Drafting and building the deck. You guys get it. Take a quick look at the deck. And then we'll go to game seven. Six zero. <clears throat> so we got a couple rares. I'm gonna put all the rares over here. All the defenders right here. Incense over here. Other creatures right here. Removal. It's kind of removal, not really. This is also removal. That's one of our rares. Um, more defenders. Removal. The bomb card of the deck. So, haven't got to play this yet in six games. Uh, I was forced to discard it. So, and you know, it's good. It's a 4-3. And you can play your walls and stuff cheaper. Airtie, I've played it. It uh, won me a game. I was able to kill a creature that they needed to block with. Uh, the two all-stars of this game are the Walking Bulwark. It, uh, you know, it can make your walls or creatures with Defender attack and deal damage equal to their toughness. This puts out a ton of bird tokens 
play this late game. You get seven or eight of them. Uh, Shield Wall Sentinel, great for getting these two. Academy Wall, nice to be able to loot whenever you play one of these. Colony, good alternate win condition. Uh, I won a game like that. This is great for tapping down creatures and just having Defender. Yep. So, got Geyser, nice to draw a card and set them back a turn. Gain three life. Uh, kind of similar here. You're tapping down two creatures for two, two attack phases, hopefully. And also drawing a card. Nice card draw here. Good protection for these two guys right here. Uh, expensive, but good way to remove something. Or if you're about to win the game, you can just return a defender to hand. Yeah, so that's the deck. Let's, let's go get game seven. Deck is currently five and zero. Draft deck, defender, mostly. Good. Turn two. Turn three. Four. Nice curve. Almost missed out on that. Chandler it is. Draw cards. Good little tutor, nice miller. We got more removal. Cost efficient. This is our best one. Could argue just get the coral colony, the other one, so you can double mill every turn, but. We can kick this next turn, too. They are out of mana, and they have less cards. Alright, we can just go get more. Most cost effective, and we want the most, um, really. Okay. Give him the new best emoji. That's a good one. It's also going back to hand. And out comes the colony. We're up to three defender creatures. Another counter spell? Wow. Opponent. Opponent's text hateful like men. At least they didn't counter the wing mantle. Lots and lots and lots of lands. Do I just go for it with two? I guess. I 
On their turn, we tap something. Or destroy evil. Not tapping that. We are tapping one of the big guys. It's a good one. Any flying? Kill them in about four turns, depending on what we draw. Okay. Drake's okay. We can also tap this. Yep. <laughs> Six and oh. draw land but we got a colony coming up we got two colonies they're gonna know our strategy very quickly oh nice maybe not Draw a card, need to keep the lands coming. And we do. If it would have been black, it would have been better, but it's okay. shore up and pass turn. Also we have activation too. Free attack, we don't have flying. Looks like they have no instance. Try it out. Mill for two. Wrong color land. Well, oh, sure, and double coral. Could just not kick that and play it, but. We have good use of our mana here already. Oh, they're helping us mill. Next turn we draw for sure. Gonna double pump. Six, so that's three turn clock, but we can block one of these at one point. How many turns do they have? If we draw a wall, that's six a turn. It's a four turn clock, we need two. Could have made them waste their turn, do this once they double pump, play the shore up, but I want to save that. Come 
Come on, swamp. Give me a swamp. That's great. It's not a swamp. I forgot to make the mill. What a... Oh my god. It's going to be hard for them to attack now. to lightning strike. That's funny. It's funny right when I say it. Fine with me. Could have used it on that. No, that would have killed it. But you could have used it on this when it blocked that. Does that mean they have another one? This can kill that next turn if I want. No, no black. Wish this was the black one. It's pretty good. That's also pretty good. they can pump this that's the only one that's not safe blocking and the only one they attack with get chump blockers and, and killers next turn Swamp. Yeah, definitely. What is this, too? No, I'm going to have to kill that before combat, so we're going to use Urtai. Nice, I forgot we get to draw a card. And it's a good one. Goes great with the wing mantle. Can't tell yet if it's an instant or not. One, two, three. Do I block here not to go down to six? If you attack all, it's easy. I just block everything but that thing. It's 
See if their card in their hand's worth anything. If they double pump, probably not. Perfect. And we draw a card. Not helpful. Doesn't seem so. I could still hold it up, though. Yeah, I'll hold up a Coral Colony activation and the Destroy Evil. Five is pretty good. Well, in that case, they only have one flyer. We have five. to be 7 and 0. Oh. <laughs> we can activate four creatures with Defender to attack next turn if we want to. But I think we can mill them out. No black mana. Two, three, four, five, six. So it'll be five now, and then twelve next turn. He's milled out. How's that? If the, that card doesn't destroy one of the coral colonies. Got excited there, I didn't wait for blocking. That's a it's a real strong, real strong showing. Seven and zero defender first time. Um, perplexed every other player. And yeah, that's that's how you do it. That's a it's a good deck. I recommend it highly.